This is Doug Barnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks and today you're probably wondering why we got this old camouflaged up boat. Well this is my duck boat. Uh, I use electronics and sonar on it. Uh, same way with the, the fish and ski. Uh, we use sonar and electronics on it. One thing I want to explain is your graph is only as good as the installation. You install the transducer correctly, you install the right power supply, and the graph can perform as designed. What I'm going to show you on using these two boats as an example, one of them we can get on plane readings all the time, off plane and on plane. The other one we have mounted it as an alternative method to protect the transducer. And those readings will only work off plane readings. Understanding why a transducer can work and why it can't work will help you install yours or better understand why it works and why it doesn't work. Uh, let's jump in here and I'll get to show you how to mount a transducer to get readings all the time on plane. Now what I'm going to show you, I'm going to jump on a creeper here just to show you about uh, mounting a transducer. If you notice this transducer is mounted low off the bottom of the boat where it can be exposed to hazards and dangers. Uh, that's one of the things mounting your transducer this way. But if you just take a flat rod, your water flow is going to come off of here. Clean water, this boat's up on plane, your water's going to be flowing off the bottom of the boat. It's not going to be flowing up here. So if you lay a board or a piece of metal like I've got, you can see that the transducer here is pretty much underneath the bottom of the boat. We've got a strake here and another strake here. So this has got clean water flows through it. I have used a transducer mounting board on this aluminum boat, which is a great option when you're mounting a transducer because it allows you to adjust it up and down, move the location left or right to get a good clean water flow reading. If you're not getting a good clean water flow reading off of the transducer, you need to lower it down in the water where it doesn't have any bubbles. Uh, check for welded edges if you're working on an aluminum boat. Uh, your strakes will create air bubbles coming off of here. So good clean water flow is critical to getting all plane, on and off plane speed readings out of your transducer. This can be done with side imaging, down imaging, or 2D sonar transducers. But check that out. Make sure the easiest way, just take a straight edge, lay it up under your boat. You can tape it. Uh, that's an easy way to figure out how to adjust your transducer. Uh, basically an eighth to about a quarter inch is about the maximum you want. If you get it too deep, the water is going to come here, hit the front of it, and it's going to spray up and create a rooster tail. If you're getting a rooster tail, you need to raise your transducer up a little bit. Now let's move over to a boat that was installed for only off-plane speed readings and, and we'll learn why it only works off-plane. Now as you can see on this fishing ski, we've got the transducer mounted up here under this step. What's going to happen? Well, we look at our water flow surface, it's going to be down here. So if we're on maximum plane, that transducer is that going to be out of the water? Because here's where our water flow is. The transducer is going to be up here. Sonar cannot shoot through air. That's radar. Sonar shoots through water. So the transducer has to be in the water to get sonar returns. In this situation, we understand that the side imaging and down imaging is going to be, we're going to use it and create it from here and protect this transducer due to the cost of transducers and the chance of hitting an underwater obstruction. So what we have elected to do is use a glassed in, fiber, epoxied in 2D transducer mounted inside the hole. Uh, you test the location and we'll talk about that in another video clip. But you test the location using a Y cable from Humminbird. We're able to split that 2D readings out of this transducer and to the transducer through the hole to get on-plane speed readings all the time. This is off-plane speed 
readings only. When the boat is idling around, you this will be in the water and get you readings. I hope that helps you learn a little bit more about the sonar systems uh, to help you get the most out of your investment. Remember, your sonar is only as good as your installation. So the better you can install, the better you can, the more performance and more enjoyment you'll get out of it. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks. And tune in next time as we go more in depth about these awesome products that I'm honored to be able to represent. Thank you and tune in next time.